Hello. Hi, I'm Brian, and I'm going to be your student nurse for today. I have orders to conduct a full head-to-toe assessment. Is that going to be okay? Yes. All right. And can I get a name and date of birth? Date of 7-16-98. All right, sounds good. Let me do my hand hygiene real quick. Wash up here. And I'm going to pull up the curtain and give us some privacy while we do this. All right, do you have any allergies that you know of? No. Okay, sounds good. Can you tell me the current year? 2024. And do you know who the president is? Joe Biden. And do you know where you're at right now? The doctor. Okay, it sounds like patient is aware and alert of surroundings A and O times four. She is sitting in an upright position with good posture, I can see. She has a pleasant demeanor, she's well-groomed, uh, she has good hygiene, she's dressed appropriately for the weather, and no odors are present. Okay, I'm just gonna ask you a few questions now about your typical daily life. Do you use any walkers or canes at home? No. Do you have any open sores or ostomies? No. Do you use any oxygen at home? No. And do you use any other form of assistive device? No. Sounds good. Okay, so next let's go ahead and move on to our head and neck assessment here. I'm going to go ahead and start by just assessing her hair and the shape of her head here. I can see that her scalp has no redness, no lesions, or no signs of an infestation. Hair looks to be distributed pretty evenly here. The size and the shape of the head is even and proportional to the rest of her body. Okay, next I'm gonna have you push against your face, uh, with your face against my hand, okay? If you could just push against it. And good, her shoulder musculature is good. I can feel tone in her back. Cranial nerve 11, the accessory nerve is intact. All right, so now I'm just examining her facial features here. I can see that they're symmetrical. The hair on her eyebrows and her eyelashes are distributed evenly. It's present, it looks healthy. Uh, I'm gonna go down and go ahead and look at her eyes now. Looking at the sclera, I can see that it's white. The conjunctivae is pale and pink. There's no signs of inflammation, no drainage on either side. Okay, good. Uh, next, I'm gonna go ahead and just do some basic eye tests here. Uh, first off, I'm gonna go ahead and just shine my light in your eyes and assess your pupillary responses. So there's gonna be a bright light. I'm gonna go from one eye down into the next, okay? I can see that uh, both eyes respond equally to the light that's being shown in her, her eyes. All right, next I'm gonna ask you to just take a look at my finger and follow it with your eyes without moving your head, okay? So here we go, we'll start midline. I can see that her extraocular movements are intact. Um, cranial nerves four, five, and six are intact. Okay, so next I'm going to be assessing her cranial nerve two or optic acuity by using our little homemade snelling chart here. Um, I would, in the clinic, have her 20 feet or 6 meters back from it, and of course using an actual Snellen chart, but in this case we'll make do with what we have. So if you could please go ahead and cover your right eye for me and read from the smallest text that you can. Okay, good. And now if you could cover your left eye and read now from the smallest text you can with the right eye. Okay, good. She's 20-20 vision. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my ophthalmoscope here to take a look in her eyes and take a look at her optic discs. So I'm gonna to come to your side and use my right hand to look into your right eye. And I'm looking in there, shining my light while I'm doing this, looking at that optic disc. I can see that the vasculature is normal in color, sheen, and coarse. The disc has a small central cup and there's no presence of hemorrhage or fluid. Now let's take a look at the other side here. Coming in to the pupil, looking in with my ophthalmoscope. 
can see on this side the vasculature is also normal in color and sheen and the optic disc has a small central cup uh, no hemorrhage is seen on this side either all right good now let's go ahead and move on here to assess uh, sensation in your face i'm going to ask you to go ahead and uh, clench your jaw for me and close your eyes tight now go ahead and keep your eyes closed for me i'm going to go ahead and touch your face in certain areas and if you could just tell me where i'm touching on which side as well okay good i can see that cranial nerve five the trigeminal nerve is intact all right moving on now we're going to take a look at her ears here i can see externally uh, it looks good to me the ears are evenly shaped they're midline bilaterally they're clean i don't see any presence of any exudates let's go ahead and stick the ophthalmoscope in to, uh, assess the tympanic membrane tympanic membrane intact uh, no inflammation or other signs of infection are present now i'm going to ask you to close your eyes again for me and um, i'm going to I'm going to make a sound in one of your ears, and whichever side that you hear it on, I just want you to raise that side's hand, okay? So go ahead and close your eyes. All right, good. The hearing is intact. Uh, no signs of nystagmus with her eyes either, so cranial nerve 8 is intact. Now I'm checking her nasal septum. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a look in the nas nasal mucosa as well. There's no discharge present. Nasal mucosa is pink. Um, next, I'm going to test the patency of the nares. I'm going to place one hand over a nostril and close it and ask you to breathe in on the other side. Good, the nares are intact, uh, patent, and clear. And I ask you to identify a smell for me, okay? So go ahead and tell me what you smell. Cinnamon. Cinnamon, good. Cranial nerve. One is intact. And now let's move on to the mouth. I can see that her lips are pink and moist. I'm gonna ask you to open your mouth for me so I can take a look inside at the oral mucosa and the teeth. Uh, the mouth and lips, pink and moist. The oral mucosa is pink and moist as well. All teeth are intact and present. Gums are a pale pink. Use my tongue depressor here to get a better view of everything. And everything is looking good there. The uvula is midline. Can you stick your tongue straight out for me? Good, tongue is midline and intact. Uh, cranial nerves nine, 10, and 12 are intact. Now let's go ahead and move on to your neck. I'm gonna go ahead and start by just pinching your clavicle area to assess your skin turgor see your hydration status. I'm not noting any tinting. Uh, she appears to be well hydrated and have good skin turgor. Um, now let's go ahead and check your thyroid. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hand you a glass of water for this one so I can assess it more effectively. I'm gonna have to come from behind you and cut my hands around and feel, okay? So go ahead and hold this for a sec. Let me just palpate real quick. Visually, I did not observe any distension. Uh, upon palpation, I'm feeling just the lower lobes of her thyroid right below her cricoid cartilage. Go ahead and lean your head back for me. Good, and take a sip of that water while you do this. Good, I can feel the cricoid cartilage elevate and the thyroid gland is palpable, but non-distended and non-tender. Now, let me go ahead and just feel for any lymph nodes that might be swollen up here. Good, lymph nodes are non-palpable, non-tender in all areas bilaterally. Uh, let me assess for any JVD, and I can see that no jugular venous distension is present. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and palpate the carotid arteries. Let's start on this side. And palpable plus two on this side as well. Now go ahead and just move your neck around for me in all directions that you can, as much as you can, up and down, side to side. Okay, good, she has good range of motion on her neck. Okay, and moving on to uh, assessment of her thorax, I'm gonna start by just listening to her lung sounds. 
and each lung field will start on the anterior side. Go ahead and just take a deep breath each time I place my stethoscope down, okay? Lung sounds are clear bilaterally, uh, no signs of wheezes, rails, ronchi, or any other abnormal breath sounds. Uh, let me actually keep my ears on and let's go ahead and assess the heart points while I have your clothes down. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start on the aortic side. If you face camera, look better. Second intercostal space on the right side. Just gonna palpate the apical pulse area for any palpable pulse in this region. No obvious pulsation here. I'd say a plus one. Okay, good. And now if you could lift, put your wrists out for me so I can assess your pulses and your extremities. And they are plus two bilaterally as well. That looks good. Let's go ahead and check the capillary refill times in your fingers. Good, less than three seconds. All right, now moving on, we're gonna, oh, also I'm not seeing any signs of edema present here, uh, both on the upper or lower extremities. No signs of clubbing in the nails either. All right, moving on, we're gonna go ahead and start the abdominal assessment now. Uh, before we get too into it, I'm just going to go ahead and palpate your back. Feel for any masses or abnormalities here. Is there any tenderness in this lower back area? No. Okay. She has no costovertebral tenderness here. Good. Now, if I could have you just go ahead and lay back. Let me support your head with some pillows. I'm just going to visually inspect her abdomen first for any masses or lesions or abnormalities. I can see that her umbilicus is midline. Uh, abdomen is round and non-distended. She has even symmetry, normal color, no presence of any veins, uh, lesions, or any other abnormalities here. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to auscultation of her four bowel quadrants. Bell sounds are normal frequency, normal sound. Uh, was there any tenderness when I was placing my stethoscope down? No. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and palpate a little more in each of her areas, feel for any masses. I feel her liver a little better. And I can feel that it's just barely peeking below her rib cage here. Is there any tenderness when I palpate this area? A little bit. A little bit? Mm -hmm. She has some tenderness noted in her liver. But no hepato splenomegaly is noted. And also I'll go ahead and just see if I can palpate her bladder. Uh, it is non-palpable, non-distended. Can you tell me the last time you went number two? Today. Was it, um, is this like a normal frequency about how often would you say you go? Every other day. Okay, and any abnormal, like, odors or, or color with your BM today? No. Okay, sounds good. You can go ahead and sit back up for me. And moving on to the last part of our assessment here, if I could just have you stand up for me. Go ahead and just walk a few steps so I can assess your balance. Good, I'm gonna turn around. If you could move your arm in all directions that you can, like a windmill on both sides. Okay, now go ahead and push against me when I push, okay? 
Can you squeeze my fingers? Good. And can you touch each finger to your thumb? All right, good. She has full range of motion in her upper extremities and good tone. Can you lift your legs out for me as far as you can? Good. She has full range of motion and good tone in her lower extremities as well. Okay, and lastly, let's just go ahead and make sure her deep tendon reflexes are normal. Go ahead and hold your arms relax for me. I'm just going to tap from behind, assess for any response. Okay, she has normal deep tendon responses. And that should wrap up our assessment for today. Thank you so much for being a willing participant, and thank you for watching my video.